hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Angels that I got the message trying to get my bread up, gotta keep my head up, but I'm getting fed up. Niggas know I'm pressure. Still deal with days where I know I'm great, but I'm feeling less. I got a nigga stressing, got me smoking heavy. Damn, I swear this weed shit been cold steady. Pretty fucking amazing, sorry than the dope aesthetics. 33 grams, bro, nigga, I ain't smoking Reggie. Put the clip on me and I'm toting Reggie. Can I cut? Did you? I kiss him before I click him in aim. Wah, wah. Then lift him and bang. And both kneecaps. Now John gotta get him a K. But this the only time you'll ever have an op in disguise. I must have had some sick patients with my job and my time. For everybody feeling ill, the doctor arrived. You got Parkinson's, MS, cancer, AIDS. Yeah, I'm a wise goon. I study each term and no ill meant to die soon. Since I've been on a roll, you can't be great me through the scope on the P90 and got a PhD. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore Fly. Tell you my mindset. Yeah, yeah, man. Follow me on the motherfucking gram. You know my shit on fire, son. Y'all niggas playing, man. Follow a nigga, man. What up? Gang, gang. Salute to every single one of the gang. Whoever didn't get me here to tell y'all Happy New Year, Happy New Year, uh, etc., etc. I ain't really blogged. People hit me up. Where have you been? Why haven't you blogged? Let me be honest with you. In the beginning of every new year, I kind of like take a week off because once we start, we just go throughout the whole year. And whether, regardless of whether it be Showtime SP, myself, he's working, I'm working, he got family, I got family. So we be working, you know what I'm saying? And then we both, he got a job, I got a job and shit like that. You know, I retired, but then I got another one because no money's like more money. I got another one because I won't have to blog every day. You know how battle rappers love to be like, these broke ass bloggers, them niggas got to sit on camera all day. So you gotta pick your struggle. You either want us to blog all the time or when the nigga take a week off or whatever the case may be because I don't have to do this no more. I really don't have to. I do it because I want to. I don't have to blog. But something that has to be done. Well, well, well. I am so glad that John John Adon spoke on this and made a post and got the word out about this young ill battle. I've been talking about this for like the last year or two consistently when it came to the battle why has Young Ill versus John John Adon never been released? Street status, this L is for you, and we're going to say why a little bit later. So John John Adon makes a post on Instagram and says, This battle took place December 2019, right before COVID hit. Main event, sold out crowd, possible classic, but still being held hostage by the league. Tag street status, oh, tell him to drop somewhere. John John versus Young Ill, don't save him. Damage control for the culture. And then Street Status O replies in there and says, I'm going to drop it in February. Fam, no, 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 no. This is the shit I'm talking You can't move the goalpost when it comes to your guy. I get it, you from St. Louis. I get it, Ill is your guy. I get it. But the thing is, if John John would have got smoked, you niggas would have put that battle out the same day. Hold on a minute, player. And I'm glad that John John finally said something about it because I wanted to see this battle a while ago. But I said something about it. I've tweeted about it. I've, I've, I've said shit about this. I could literally go into tweet, into my Twitter, and, and go to my page, Vada underscore fly, follow me there. And I could look through my tweets and see John John versus Ill, and I'm sure that I'm going to find something for myself that I wrote about this battle that happened a long ass time ago. Yes, I've tweeted about this battle. One, I tweeted about this battle in 2020. I tweeted about this battle in 2022. I swear to God, look at this. Hey, this is crazy. I said, uh, where's Young Ill versus John John the Don Street Status DVD? What are we doing here? That was in 2020. 2020. Today's a great day to drop John John the Don versus Young Ill. And then I said it in January of 2022. Dog, Young Ill versus John John must have got vaulted. John John must have sent his soul flying to the sky. Them boys moved the goalposts with that footage. If he lost, they'd have put it out the same night. Nasty work. I've been had this energy. So what I'm saying now 
It's nothing different than what I said in 2019 and 2020, 22. I said this shit years. So I wasn't gonna say nothing about it no more. Cause I'm like, if your battle footage is not important enough to be out, what the fuck am I saying something for? And why am I going over and over and over and over again? I literally tweeted, today is a great day almost three years ago. Now I'm gonna retweet that and say, three years ago and now today is still a good day. This battle still ain't came out and this is the shit. Niggas be moving the goalposts when it comes to the eight people. And I get it. I get it. You, if your man got smoke, and you ain't want to acknowledge it, and you ain't want that shit to be put out there, cool. But dog, John Jonathan needs this footage. You know why he needs this footage? His last look was versus Sue Surf. Quite obviously, we know how that battle went. He ain't battled since. Like, we ain't seen him. I mean, you know, him and Easy ass him, you know, little words. They might go, they might battle, things like that. But when you, when your product is not out there like that, they have to see you in some magnitude or some form, and they ain't been seeing this nigga. I fuck with John John Don, but niggas just ain't seen you in months, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure that you probably got some things in the works, bullpen does what it do. But this battle versus Young Ill, and we ain't seen Young Ill since this battle. I tweeted the other day, random. I would love to see Young Ill battle again. Why would I love to see Young Ill battle again? Because I like what Young Ill's able to do. But this is clearly, 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 a play to move the goalpost. Now you're gonna drop it in February. Why you need this drop it in February? You can drop that shit tomorrow. Like, what is taking so long? Why is this battle taking four years to edit? It should not. 2019, this joint happened before the pandemic. There's no reason why this battle is not out. New Jersey twerk battle, oops, on that card. Oops did pretty good. Y'all got that footage out. So y'all gonna book battles that y'all only gonna release if the nigga from St. Louis wins? If that's the case, don't book no more battles. Y'all might not book no more battles. And there's virtually no excuse as to why this battle isn't out yet. The only excuse is y'all moving the goalposts to prevent the world from seeing your man lost the battle. And if that's what you're doing, then you shouldn't book no battles. I'm sorry, it is what it is. I mean, I got love for St. Louis. I see what Hitman's doing for Bags and Bodies. Averb's doing his thing. He's got a whole bunch of new shit going on where he's going at all of these rappers, uh, whether it be Ace Means, The Avs, all of these people. I'm sure he's gonna get a bunch of battles versus them. He's blogging shit. He blogged more than I do. I ain't blogging. This is the second time I blogged in 2023. Twice in almost 10 days. This nigga blogged more than I do. Verb got to blog every fucking day. Damn near every day. These niggas blog more than we do. You know? Which is cool. I'm glad that the artists are getting out there. The artists are doing their thing and, and talking their shit because the thing is, they watch us talk about the shit that you talk about, so y'all might as well talk y'all shit and have, a, and have a platform too. I see nothing wrong with it. Um, but yeah, I definitely said this shit. Years I've been talking about this battle and why hasn't it been released. Years! And now, John John, I'm sure John 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 has probably been working behind the scenes and he's probably said stuff, but you can't, see certain shit, you can't really work behind the scenes. Like when you're working behind the scenes, you're trying to contact the nigga, they're giving you the fucking run around, this, that, and the third. When you put it out there in public and tell everybody, tag said lean owner, league owner, and tell him that I need my battle released. That's the way. I bet you the ball will get rolling out. And now niggas don't want February either. No, 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 no February. February for what? What are we waiting February for? And it's fucking January 9th? You need another 30 days? You niggas had 30 years already. Why isn't this shit out? I know why it's out. It's not out because you're simply moving the goalposts. And that's that's not honorable. Yeah? If you if you shot some footage and a nigga came there and he fried your man, I'm not saying that's what happened. I'm not. But there can't be no other viable reason why this is not it. No, 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 this is unruly. This is a rambunctious reach. You guys are reaching with this one. And even when it does come out, I mean, niggas will watch it, but what you supposed to do, recap a battle? Oh, yo, what up, blah, 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 blah. This battle happened in 2019, but I'm gonna recap it today in 2023. My nigga, this is full. This shit happened before the pandemic, bro. Nigga was still outside when this shit happened. Y'all gotta stop that shit, man. Like, for real, I ain't even, that is nasty work. I did. People will always ask, what's the definition of nasty work? This is nasty work. This L is nasty work. Did I make up the term nasty work? Absolutely not. It's been said a bunch of times, you know, niggas in New York, when they talk that lingo, that nasty work. This is nasty work. How you book a nigga album fly out there and don't release the footage? Almost four years later. What are y'all hiding? <laughs> I'm so glad that John John the Don is the one 
that's saying something. The battle took place December 2019, right before COVID hit. Main event, sold out crowd, possible classic, but still being held hostage. Come on, my nigga. Y'all gotta get up off that shit, man. Your niggas, niggas lose battles every day. If y'all would have released it and just let it out by now, it would have been over with. Regardless of whether he won, lost, up, down, left, right, it would have been over with. But niggas is holding the footage. Um, salute to everyone that watches this content, whether religiously or in passing. Um, salute to all the leagues, the league owners. Uh, RBE has a card coming up real soon, Divide and Conquer. I'll be talking about that in a few. Uh, different leagues have got a bunch of different stuff going on. Um, Still, I think people on the app are still waiting for uh, some battles to drop. I've recently unsubscribed from the app. I'm not gonna lie, I, I, I'm be, I, I unsubscribe because even though it's just eight dollars a month, I don't feel like I'm getting what I deserve, what I need out of that. Like I'm a fan of a lot of battle rappers. I watch a lot of shit, but I mean, I'm not a fan of wrestling. So you know what I'm saying? When DNA does the wrestling podcast, I don't watch it because I'm not a fan of wrestling. Like I've never been a fan of wrestling. And then I'm not gonna sit up and watch like Crucible battles and light work. Like all of these battles are not good. Like light work, they be rehearsing, battling 10 times before, doing the camp. I'm not, that's why nobody recaps them. I, don't, I think I recapped like one light work battle. They're not good to me. I don't think the premise is good. I think battles are made for crowds and things like that. Like the whole load, you know, if you get to mess up, you get to do it again, do it again, do it again. Like I'm good on that. Light work, nasty work. I'm good. So I'm unsubscribed from it. When they start dropping some shit that's worth talking about, or worth me talking about, or worth the time, I'll talk about it then. But quite frankly, I just don't feel like I'm getting anything out of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not even excited. Like, when I get notifications, I'll be like, oh shit, I'm clicking and it's two niggas I never heard of. Now, listen, everybody got to get it how they get it. You know what I'm saying? You got to come up how you come up. But I think the come up shouldn't be on our dime. Like, PGs and Crucible, all that shit should be released on YouTube. Like, why am I paying for people I never heard of? That's just my personal opinion. You ain't got to like it. You ain't going to do shit to me about it when you see me. So it is what it is. Other than that, man, release John John the Don versus Young Ill Street Status. Y'all niggas is tripping with this. Four years? Four years? Bruh, nah, 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 nah. Nah, I'm out. Ah, uh, y'all, y'all niggas got it, man. Oh, uh, you niggas, you to a point where niggas don't even want to see this shit no more. Like, what am I looking for? Like, four years, bro? Y'all niggas is some nasty work, bro. It's where I know I'm great, but I'm feeling less. I got a nigga stressing, got me smoking heavy. Damn, I swear this weed shit been coping